Here's the secret to adding a fav icon to your website. Fav icon is those little graphics that show up on the uh, next to the URL and on the tabs of the major browsers. If you Google, you may see that you need to add some HTML to your site in order for these to work. That's not actually true. If you, as long as it's named favicon.ico, and you can make these with any number of, of free tools available on the web, and you put it in your web server's doc root, the base of your, your web website, it'll be picked up automatically by all your major browsers. Let's take a look at how that might work. I'm going to go ahead and get a fav icon that I have already made. And I'm going to go ahead and FTP it up to the web server. I'm using a tool called Expand Drive. If you don't like FTP software on Windows, I really recommend using Expand Drive. It's great treats an FTP site as if it's just a regular uh, externally mounted drive. And now that I've added it, and you'll notice I also have an Apple Touch icon already loaded, it's a PNG file, it will also automatically be detected without any additional HTML code by iPhones. We can now go to each browser and we'll see that this fav icon will be automatically recognized even though we do not have any HTML in the actual site to tell the browser where the fav icon is. If we go to Firefox, you see it's automatically added. And to Chrome. And what happens is it's the last thing that actually loads on the web page. After the web page has actually been loaded, the browser knows to go see, hey, I've got the whole page now. Do I have a fav icon? It's loaded there. And in Opera. It's automatically detected there. And on Safari, it's automatically detected. And then finally, Internet Explorer, which actually the uh, Internet Explorer people are the ones who invented the icon, the Fav icon ICO. So there you go. You don't have to add any code to your site in order to get these to work. So, Go to it.